Hello children, and I'll be doing a couple of stories with you. Uh, summer reading is starting. We're having a new product called Beanstack. You can call us at the library to ask us about it, and we'll tell you about it. I'm sorry we can't be together. I miss you. This is a story that my daughter liked when she was little, and it's by Julian Schneer, pictures by Marvin Billick, and it's called Rain Makes Applesauce. We've had a lot of rain, but I haven't seen much applesauce. But it's a silly book, but I like the pictures. The stars are made of lemon juice, and rain makes applesauce. I wear my shoes inside out, and rain makes applesauce. My house goes walking every day, and rain makes applesauce. Oh, you're just talking silly talk, but Dolls go dancing on the moon. The rain makes applesauce. The wind blows backwards all night long and rain makes applesauce. Monkeys mumble in a jelly bean jungle and rain makes applesauce. Candy tastes like soap, soap, soap. And rain makes applesauce. Monkeys eat. The chimney smoke and rain makes applesauce. Tigers sleep on an elephant's snoot and rain makes applesauce. Oh, you're still talking silly, silly talk. Clouds hide in a hole in the sky. Rain makes applesauce. Salmon slide down a hippo's hide. Rain makes applesauce. My teddy bear sings out loud at night. And rain makes applesauce. Elbows grow on a tickle tree. And rain makes applesauce. Oh, you're just talking silly, silly talk. I know I'm talking silly, silly talk. But rain makes applesauce. Maybe someplace it does. And this is a, a book I like. It's called The Runaway Bunny. And sometimes you always love your mommy, but sometimes you get a little bit cranky and you wish that you could maybe run away. But your mother will never let you do that because you're her dear one and she holds on to you. And this is by Margaret Wise Brown, pictures by Clement Hurd. Once there was a little bunny who wanted to run away. So he said to his mother, I am running away. If you run away, said his mother, I will run after you, for you are my little bunny. If you run after me, said the little bunny, I will become a fish in a trout stream and I will swim away from you. If you become a fish in a trout stream, said his mother, I will become a fisherman and I will fish for you. if you can see it, but the it's a bunny fish, if there is such a thing. If you become a fisherman, said the little bunny, I will become a rock on the mountain high above you. If you become a rock on a mountain high above me, said his mother, I will be a mountain climber, and I will climb to where you are. Here's your bunny. And there she is climbing to him. If you become a mountain climber, said the little bunny, I will be a crocus in a hidden garden. If you become a crocus in a hidden garden, said his mother, I will be a gardener and I will find you. That sounds a little bit scary there. Oh, she found him. She found her bunny child right there. If you are a gardener and find me, said the little bunny, I will be a bird and fly away from you. If you become a bird and fly away from me, said his mother, I will, be in a I will become a tree that you will come home to. And there she is with her tree arms open to catch her baby bunny bird. If you become a tree, said the little bunny, 
I will become a little sailboat, and I will sail away from you. If you become a sailboat and sail away from me, said his mother, I will become the wind and blow you where I want you to go. If you become the wind and blow me, said the little bunny, I will join the circus and fly away on a flying trapeze. If you go flying on a flying trapeze, said his mother, I will become a tightrope walker and I will walk across the air to you. She looks quite lovely. If you become a tightrope walker and walk across the air, said the bunny, I will become a little boy and I will run into a house. If you become a little boy and run into a house, said his mother bunny, I will become your mother and catch you in my arms and hug you. And there they are. Shucks, said the little bunny. I might just as well stay where I am and be your little bunny. And so he did. Have a carrot, dear, said his mother. The end. Attention lottery patrons. Your lottery appointment is now ending. Please proceed to the circulation desk to check out your materials or to the exits. Thank you. That's a message that's coming across because not next week, but the week after, we're going to be doing something surprising. But we'll tell you more about that when that happens. And I'm going to read one more story. And this is also by Margaret Wise Brown. It's called Good Night Moon. And it's perfect for kind of relaxing. I read this to my children when they were little and my grandchildren. And it's just a beautiful old story. And it's even older than I am, which is pretty old. In the great green room, there was a telephone and a red balloon and a picture of the cow jumping over the moon. And there were three little bears sitting in chairs and three little kittens and a pair of mittens and a little toy house and a young mouse Squeak! and a comb and a brush and a bowl full of mush and a quiet old lady whispering, hush, hush, hush. Good night, room. Good night, moon. Good night, cow jumping over the moon. Good night, light in the red balloon. Good night, bears and good night, chairs. Good night, kittens. Good night, mittens. Good night, clocks. Good night, socks. Good night, little house. Good night, little mouse. Good night, comb, and good night, brush. Good night, nobody. Good night, nobody. Good night, mush. And good night to the little old lady, whispering, hush, hush, hush. Good night, stars. <gasps> good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. The end. And I'm pretty sure he's asleep. Thank you. See you soon.